Hello everyone! In this video, we're going to learn about conic sections. Here's an overview of conic sections. Conic sections are figures formed by the intersection of a plane and a double knapped right circular cone. These are the parts of our double nap right circular cone. We have the lower nap, upper nap, the vertex, and the axis of symmetry. So in how many ways can a plane intersect a double nap right circular cone? Let's consider this first illustration. When the plane intersects, the double knot right circular cone horizontally, this figure is formed. This is a circle. What if we tilt the plane in this way? That is, when the plane intersects only one cone all the way through to form a bounded curve but not parallel nor perpendicular to its axis of symmetry. This curve is formed, a flattened circle. This is what we call an ellipse. How about this one? When the plane intersects the cone parallel to its outside edge to form an unbounded curve, this U-shaped curve is formed. This is a parabola. And when the plane intersects, not necessarily vertical, both cones to form two unbounded curves, these two unbounded curves form a conic section called hyperbola. There are also other ways for a plane to intersect a double nap right circular cone. These are formed when the plane intersects the right circular cone at its vertex. These are what we call degenerate cases or degenerate conics. The first one is a point. A point is a degenerate case of either circle or ellipse. The second one is one line. It is a degenerate case of a parabola. The last one are two intersecting lines. This is a degenerate case of a hyperbola. To summarize, we have four non-degenerate conics. First, we have the circle, we have the ellipse, parabola, and hyperbola. We have three degenerate conics, a point, one line, and two intersecting lines. Now here are some examples of conic sections that can be seen in real life setting. We have for circle, a ferris wheel. For parabola, a satellite dish. For ellipse, we have the elliptical orbit of a planet. And for a hyperbola, we have the cooling tower. That's all for today. Thank you for watching.